Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and in this video I'm going to compare lavaliers to shotgun microphone. I have here for this test the Shure VP8083 shotgun microphone attached to a uh, Shure Dead Cat to jam the wind. The test camera that's filming this is the Canon EOS M6. The lens is a, the 11-22 super wide angle and this will represent the shotgun setup. Right now, you are watching this video with me and a shotgun. The other and represent the lavalier is this um, Zoom H1, and it's attached to a lavalier mic right under my shirt, right here. See? So, I've always have used in the past lavaliers. I avoided shotguns. I avoided shotguns simply because. Um, the, the problems I have, like, I'll show you, the first problem is a shotgun mic. Uh, when you're in front of it, it's fantastic, but once you go, once you start turning it around, when I go behind it, it sounds different. Like, let me show you. As I walk, I get up, I'm going to start walking around it now, and I'm now to the side of the shotgun mic. I'm to the side, I'm on the side, and I sound different. But let me show you, I'm going to switch over to my zoom. This is... For my zoom microphone, whether I'm in front of it or the side of it, it's still the same. Now I'm going to go back to the uh, to the Shure shotgun mic. So this is the Shure shotgun from the, from the side, and I'm going, I'm going to go, now I'm going to go behind it. So now I am now behind the Shure shotgun mic, and when I'm behind it, I will sound not as loud as if I was in front of it because the shotgun designer takes things that's directly in front of it. However, with the lavalier, I still sound the same no matter where I am, All right? So, with the lavalier, uh, I can walk around, I can turn around and face the other way, face the other way, and I still sound the same. But however, on the sure, I'm sure I sound a little different than when I'm talking away from it, versus talking right at it. One other thing uh, with a shotgun mic, they only work within a limited distance. Like, if I were to start walking away, like, I start backing up, Backing up, backing up, backing up, and like here, I'm about just 30 feet away. I probably don't sound, probably don't sound as great. I'm not sure if it picks me up, but on the lavalier. Hey, no matter where I am, the distance I could walk as far as I want, all the way, you know, to the back of my uh, my jacuzzi here, and with the lavalier, you can still hear me. However, on the sure shotgun mic, I'm not sure. Let's go back to the lavalier. So that's the uh, that's those are the main reason why I don't use shotgun mice. I generally just use uh, lavalier mice. And the last test I want to do is the wind test. Like it's uh, pretty windy right now. Uh, I got the uh, I got the shotgun mic here on the on the uh, with the dead cat, and I also got my lavalier with, with, uh, with a dead cat as well, or a dead mouse since it's so much smaller. So it's blowing right now. Let's listen to see if we hear any wind noise. Here's with the Shure. And here it is with, the, uh, with my giant squid lavalier. Generally, uh, the, the dead cat should do a good job of getting rid of wind noise on both, in both cases. So, uh, I find the lavalier is generally better at getting rid of wind noise because not only do I have the, uh, the wind sock, the wind sock underneath, uh, I have it underneath my shirt, so that provides an additional layer of wind protection. The advantage of the dead cat, I mean, the advantage of the shotgun mic is that it's convenient. I don't have to mic myself up. But overall, I, I just find for the stuff I do, like stuff I do, I find the lavalier works better because uh, I'm on a trade show. I aim it around. I'm making commentary. Like, look at those workers down below. Let's see, Did I see the workers down below. I, hey guys, how you doing? All right, <laughs> so they're not down below. But with a lavalier, it's always on the same. With the dead cat, I mean, with the <laughs> with the shotgun, when I turn around, I sound different. I walk away, I sound different. For vlogging, however, the the, the shotgun actually works quite well because in vlogging, you're always 
pretty much at a constant distance between you and the camera, especially when you're doing it like what I'm doing right now. You're walking and vlogging, that's fine. And, but the instant I turn it around and I'm talking, you know, like, hey guys, check out my view uh, from my house here. I sound different than when I'm facing it to me. However, we do the same for the lavalier. With the lavalier here, I go, I'm still talking. I go, hey guy, check out the view, check out the view, guy, check out the view. I still sound exactly the same. My voice does not change. I, what do I turn around facing whichever way and my voice does not change. So uh, because of this, Emily, I, I go for, that's why I go for lavalier. So I love to hear what you think. Uh, would you do a lavalier or you go for the shotgun mic? Um, for me, I've been playing with this uh, logging system for a few days now. And I think the Shure shotgun mic is going back. Stick on the lavalier mics. And just as a comparison, here is the audio from the built-in mic of the Canon EOS M6. There is uh, no very dead cap protection on the mic, so uh, with the with the wind with the wind blowing here, uh, it yeah you might hear some wind noise. All right. Testing one two three. Testing one two three. This is the built-in microphone of the Canon EOS M6. Because the mic is built in and omnidirectional, unlike a shotgun mic, if I were to turn it around, uh, I should still sound the same. I should still sound the same. So turn it around here, turn it back to me. It should still sound the same, but it may not because I got a flip up screen that might be obstructing the mic. But well, we'll see when I when I get this thing on there. John Shell from JohnShell.com. Thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoy it. Got some value out of it and hope it helps you. Uh, like and share my video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.